Hi, in this video I want to show you uh, Microsoft Bookings, which I use quite successfully with uh, my tutees and my um, project students uh, and as programme director for any student to book a, a meeting with me. So um, I'm going to shrink myself down to here. Uh, so you can find it in the apps, which you can get to through the, the grid button at the top of uh, your email. Um, let's go through and hit bookings um, and this is designed for uh, everyone from I don't know, hairdressers to uh, handymen to, to book in slots uh, or for customers to book in slots so there's a few, bit of terminology and things like estimated revenue that you don't have to worry about um, but the main things uh, that you need to do to set this up is uh, to set up a member of staff uh, so I'm here um, and um, you can set it so that it reacts to your uh, Outlook calendar availability um, and you can set in here the, the times that you want to be available for students uh, within your free time on your calendar. Um, so I keep it 10 to 4 usually except for Thursdays when we've got um, protected time in Kane. Uh, and uh, everything else is just pretty straightforward um, and then you want to set up services as well uh, so I have 15 minute drop-ins uh, that the, the guidance is, is any student can book this um, and they need to give me a little bit of detail I've changed the location uh, for now from my office to a Skype meeting there is an add online meeting button here um, but at the moment that only makes a link to Microsoft Teams uh, which we don't use so I've left that off for now but I've got a ticket open with IT uh, to work out how to get a, a Skype meeting in there um, and then you can do things like put buff buffer time before and after um, and stuff like that and it'll send out uh, a reminder uh, to students uh, just just 24 hours in advance to, to remind them that they've got something booked um, and then you generate a, a booking page uh, so this is all published now um, again you can you can th th there's multiple places in which you can schedule um, uh, lead time, time increments, things like that But um, so, so if something doesn't quite work how you expected it to um, then check um, the, the services and the staff and the booking page um, and that looks like this uh, so when a student clicks your link which you can email out to them or put in your signature uh, let's say okay I want to drop in this gives my availability as in my calendar in those 15 minute in increments or they can have a project supervision similarly for the 30 minute increments they put their details in they put some additional info uh, and they hit book and that pops into your calendar um, and then you can manage them on the bookings calendar uh, which again is just on the, the bookings service um, and it all, I, I, I tend to find that, that students quite like being able to schedule time with me, but I could do that this way without exposing my whole calendar to them. Uh, and then just to show you what I've done in my email signature, I've got an office hours link that I've put in my signature, um, which you can set in the Outlook settings. Uh, you can compose. Yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, I've had good feedback on that. Students tend to like it. Uh, my face seems to have frozen, but I'm still here. Um, and drop me an email or put in a comment if you have any questions. Cheers.